Hi guys, it's a quick video on how to get VMware Player installed if you're not finding it in the repos. I'm on Linux Mint 19 Tara at the moment and it's not available. So we have to do this manually. So we download it. Just dump that in there. Let's just check progress. Oh, that'll do. Let me take a second. There we go, that's done. Don't need those pages anymore. Don't need that anymore. We'll come back to that. All right, downloads. Make sure it's executable. Let's open a terminal. I'll just make that a bit bigger for you guys. I just need to see the name. Right, you need to do this as right. So sudo that, vm tab completion is awesome. Right, let's pull this up, let it install. You accept, accept. We do want it to check for updates. We don't wish to participate. We don't have a key, so we're running free. Install. Right, this is going to take a little while, so I'll pause here and I'll come back. There we go, it's almost finished now. Copying files. Yeah, last stage is configuration. And once that's finished, we should be good to roll. Now I will post a little addendum to this because there can be an issue on certain kernels where the VMware monitor system, when you first run it on a plane, on a, when you first install it, it will come up and say it needs to compile certain aspects before you could run it properly. Well, the problem with that is it goes into a loop and it keeps cycling around the same loop constantly. It says it's doing it, but it will fail on the virtual monitor. Um, and I'll post the solution. So this is up and running now. So there we are, there's that. Okay, there's a quick addendum to the previous install. I've noticed some people have had problems with VMware Player after install going into a virtual monitor loop when trying to start up because it wants to compile kernel modules before it will run. Now, this is a solution. I found the source here. I'll link this in the description so you can go and read it for yourself if you want rather copy and paste rather than writing this out. Make sure you've got Git installed. You need to do this as super user. So either sudo su hyphen enter your password or you can just do this as a normal user up to this point and then you're going to need to sudo, okay? So cd temp, git clone this repo, cd vware host modules, check out workstation 14, tar vm on tar vm on only, because we only want the monitor aspect. You then copy that to userlib vmware module source. Then you do vmware mod config hyphen console hyphen install all. That will go off and it will compile the kernel modules required and the monitoring side of it will be fixed after that. Now with this installed, you want to check for updates once it's run. So what you would do, if I just load it up in here, where are we? software updates, run that, go check for updates. Now this is should find extra modules. The following, I don't want pro and there are no software updates at this time, but if it offers pro, you can cancel it underneath that 
there'll be a whole bunch of modules for different distros and it's a bit of a pain but it's good to let them come down and install because then you're set up for any distro you want to virtualize but the annoying side of it is it wants your password for every single module but that's okay once it's done it's done and that will resolve the looping cycle if you're done you've had enough of vmware you can uninstall it with that command and as i say i'll, I'll link the solution source it's exactly the same as this here in fact I'll, I'll copy and paste this into the description as well okay guys there we go that should resolve it